Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Weezy the Wise here with your Battlefield 1 open beta recap. I apologize for the delay in getting this video out, but I uh, wanted to make sure I had my thoughts in order. The beta ended roughly a week ago, and it gave us a week to try out some things on the Sinai Desert, uh, which the map for me it was okay, but I tend to not like those wide open maps without a lot of means for transportation which uh, they, they do provide some with tanks, horses and uh, the choo choo train of death but uh, the choo choo train of death was mainly tied up for most of my games and didn't really seem to have an impact on the final game too much either way so uh, let's focus on the bad uh, let's start with the tanks, which everybody has probably mentioned in other recaps. Um, I say they're overpowered personally. Um, I think there's just not enough effective ways to deal with them on the battlefield. But, uh, you know, to each his own. I, uh, I mean, it's great when you can ride at them, but anything that's self-healing and uh, especially the light ones I mean the heavy ones are a little slower so it can you can catch up to them and put some damage on them but the light ones they, they move way too easily and they can really just pick you apart from distance and get out of harm's way heal themselves can take on anything I mean it's just not <laughs> advantageous to take on a light tank I mean whoever gets it first pretty much won the beta round so not good there um, as far as melee attacks go um, I like that there's more emphasis on them now there's some definitely some brutal melee um, animations in the game but the bayonet charge was uh, not fun for me it missed way more then I would have liked it too or it activated when I didn't want it to activate I just wanted to do a regular melee and I was charging around the room looking like an idiot and just got myself killed because uh, of that mechanic so I should definitely separate the two or make it so that you don't trigger it so easily um, the medic and support classes were almost useless for me in this uh, beta uh, I had a hard time finding people to revive. I mean, people just usually get killed and spawn right back before you can even get to them, or they don't ever call for help, or you know, it's just hard to, to see who's on your team that's dead and need reviving, and and, and who's the enemy. It's, it was just not very smooth there. And speaking of not very smooth. There were definitely bugs, glitches, and things, which I know it's a beta, it's not a finished product, but come on, let's be real, it's like uh, not that <laughs> far away between now and the release date, so I mean, don't, don't think like some of those bugs that we didn't see in the beta won't make their way into the main game. They won't catch them all before they push it out the door, I guarantee you that, so um, that's something to be wary of, um, as well as with the hit detection. And both with guns and shooting things like when I was in the airplanes in the gunner seat just it was just hard to hit anything at times now granted this is World War one this we're not using laser pointers and pinpoint accuracy I don't necessarily expect that you know there's gonna be a little skill involved in hitting things but you know, maybe it'll get better with you know as I get in the game full game and practice more but um, it was not a good experience for me with that either. What I did like is the graphics and the sound were beautiful. And the Frostbite engine is amazing. Despite its buzz and glitches, it still provides a uh, very photorealistic um, foray into uh, World War One and those experiences. The, you know, the guns and the sounds were amazing. I mean, it really got you in the mood for war <laughs> if if that's a, a positive thing I don't know if that is but uh, you know there's definitely some approved squad functionality you know there's not a, a lot of functional squad leaders out there from you know playing in random games that I've played but when I'm the squad leader I do my job I call out orders and I try to 
get my people together with rides and ammunition and health etc etc so I like the fact that they, you know they do reward that type of play even if your squad doesn't even make it to the objective if it just gets captured by the team in general you still get points just for calling out objectives so I don't know why people would miss out on free points but um, there's horses. Yeah, people have said good things about the horses. I mean, I like riding them. They're fun. They make cool noises, cool animations. The hit boxes on them, especially with that melee attack, is a little bit overpowered. Not not a super fan of that. They could trim that down a little bit, but uh, but the the overall map design of the desert that map that they gave us was uh it's a mixed bag i mean like when you're in the close quarters fighting areas around bravo and charlie they were it was okay and stuff i mean then you had that one point way out in the middle of nowhere that i mean unless you had a vehicle or a horse nobody was going to touch so yeah, you're basically confined to you know fighting in the little city area or you know, maybe going between, you know, Frank and Gulf or something like that, but then you had, you know, weather effects and things, which I think are cool in small doses, but not a long-term thing, but, you know, there was some good to be had, and then the point system they, ch they changed in Conquest to make it focus solely on, you know, holding the points, which is sounds good in theory you think that it push more people to push more objectives hard some people say it did I, I, I didn't notice that I mean I had just as many you know, campers and snipers doing nothing and you know air guys and stuff that stayed in the air all game I mean they were getting kills and stuff I'm sure but I mean, were they really affecting what was going on on the ground eh, not that I and not in a way that I could tell them. I mean, if they were supposed to be taking out tanks and stuff, it didn't happen nearly enough because it felt like we were, that the assault people were on their own to handle tanks, you know, basically one on one. Sometimes you'd get help, but uh, it was just, I just always felt out man in that type of situation. So, kind of wish they would bring the old point system back or have an option to turn that on. So, you know, you know, using up planes and tanks and getting kills and death counts towards the the ticket bleed, and it it def I think that just you know balances it out the best way still, and uh, would make people think twice about you know just getting themselves killed over and over again, or you know trying to get revives and trying to stay alive, or or like the, the you know the planes trying to help out with the tanks and stuff so that you know, your infantry isn't getting wiped out on the battlefield by these OP tanks and stuff like that, so, um, but I mean, I think this is a game that, you know, I'm a little leery about, you know, we had the Battlefield 4 catastrophe of about a year where the game was nearly unplayable for a while, and I hope that Battlefield 1 comes out in a lot better state. Um, but you know, I feel like this is a game that'll it'll be okay at launch, but it'll be really good six months to a year from now once they finish working out all the bugs. Which I'm telling you, it won't be by release date. I'd be shocked if if it was a really smooth experience on uh, on the on the launch. But uh, and that's with most Battlefield games. But um, we'll see. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to. You know, hearing the reviews, I mean, I'll probably, you know, like I said, I'll be, I'll take a wait and see approach on this. I, this is a game, my series that I loved ever since. I mean, ever since I've been gaming on consoles with Modern Combat, all the bad companies, you know, even Hardline, even though that was critically panned. Um, but I mean, this is their really chance to make a statement especially with a lot of people shunning uh, the infinite warfare space combat futuristic stuff you know people said they wanted world war one here we go so hopefully they they this is their chance to really knock it out the point park but you know they, they definitely got some bugs to take care of but uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video if you enjoyed watching please like subscribe and follow me I would love and appreciate your support take care and have a great day